Hello, Carla from Scrap and Create. And this is a repeat of a walkthrough for a Graphic 45 Little Things. I'm going to try to make this shorter. Some of you commented my other one was too long and had too many um, photos that I'd already put in there. So we're, we're gonna redo this and try to make it short. Short and sweet and to the point. So I created this once, as soon as I saw this paper last fall, I told Julie I wanted to use this paper. I just thought this paper was so bright and whimsical, so I had to use it. So what, what I started off with was thinking, how can we make this fun and whimsical? Now this album measures eight by 10, and it has a, a hefty three inch spine. It has four pages. So on the cover, what I wanted to do was create a little shaker card. So I thought that would give it a little whimsical element to it. So in the tutorial, we go through on how I made the shaker, shaker card. So that was fun. And then just put some ephemera pieces um, that come with the bundle. And here's some chipboard elements. And then some flowers that I cut out and cut out this sunshine and happiness because this paper is so full of sunshine and happiness. Now the spine tried to keep it whimsical too. Here is a chipboard element and then we have these chipboard ladybugs crawling up to this little ephemera piece that says hello ladybug and in the back we have this cute mushroom paper. So when you open up the album, the first thing you're going to see, this is the inside inside um, of the cover. It has a large pocket here. And I created a little library policy envelope here with a little journaling card that we just basically folded in half. So you can write anything you want here for um, whoever you're giving this to. I thought that would be nice. That just kind of fits in here. And then I created a booklet. Now this booklet can be for anything you want. Um, for the recipient can write anything, do a little writing, talking about what, what's in here. But that's that was my idea. So I created a little booklet that sits in here. So this is the first page. Now I've already added photos in here. So I will try to go back and get some of the video from the first walkthrough that doesn't have any photos. The first page. This is our hello page using a journal journaling card. Journaling cards are almost on every single um, page in this album. Hello, this flap is going to be lifting up have another journaling card here. Then you're going to be opening this up and you come to this big space here. Now, this space can easily hold a five by seven. And then these side flaps are going to be four by sixes. And then these side flaps open up again. So let me show you the whole spread here. So you got four by six, four by six, or you can be using three by fours, three by fours, lots of different ways you can arrange your, your pictures on this first page. So that closes down. That is the first page. And inside this first page, we have a pocket page. And we have this little booklet that I made. Now this booklet, it will hold a lot of pictures. This is like seven by eight and a half. So this is huge, it will hold a lot of pictures. It's matted on both sides. And what I like about this is when you put it back in 
to your pocket page, most of the time you see these pocket page inserts with just a single page that goes in and out. And I'm always wondering, what about those photos? They can get damaged. So the my design here is whatever you put inside here will be protected by this little booklet. So that goes in here. So page two, and we're featuring these journaling cards on basically every single page. And this is a shout out to Graphic 45. Most of us love these journaling cards. So this is just a little flap. It has a little ribbon um, pole here to tell you to open this up. So you open it up and you come to this space. So you have places for photos here, here, and here. And th these are going to be holding some fair, fair amount of good photos here like there too. And that's not all. This opens. So again, you have more photo opportunities here. And then you have, again, this large area for photos. You have this pocket. So this pocket is going to be holding another insert. Get rid of my photos here. So a lot of place a lot of real estate for some more photos, and that will fit in here. So a lot of photo opportunities on this second page. Then we get to our third page. Another journaling card with a ribbon pole. So this is going to open up. And you can see that when you open this up, this, this element is being pulled out of, of its pocket and there's a little, looks like a little doorknob. That was my idea to have that little doorknob here, which is going to open up. So you have more photo opportunities all in through here. Big photo opportunity. I believe this will actually hold, yeah, five by seven if you wanted. So lots of photo space in through here and on this side. And when this closes, this is going to be pushed back into the pocket. And it's held in by a magnetic closure. So page one, two, three, page four, we come to a waterfall. So I love waterfalls because they can hold a lot of photos and if you want, you can use them to tell a story. So we open this up and we have a, a little journaling card down here. So then this is just going to flip up. So I don't usually mat these because I want to keep the bulk down, but they all have a little trim piece down here. So lots of places for photos. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven places for photos just in this waterfall. Then we come to this little pocket. And I just love these little kiddos. So with this little journaling card, I just use my... Um, What's that called? A sharp nut. My razor cutter. Oh my gosh, my, my, my mind is blanking. You know what I mean. I just cut this and added this little cutie pie in there. I thought that was so cute. And then inside this pocket, we have another journaling card, the back side of the journaling card here, and more spaces, more photo um, opportunity spaces back in here. And that just fits in here. And then on this page, we have another pocket that is using those cuties too that I cut out. And then I, I cut a little slot in here and slip them in. So I thought that was just a cute little element too. And in this pocket, we made this insert with a chipboard pull piece here. And 
an, the back side of a journaling card here. Some more photo opportunities down here. So this little thing, this little um, tag sits in there. And then we come to this area, which you're going to see two ribbons. So that tells us you're going to be pulling each of them. They're all held by magnetic closures. This one opens up and you have this photo space in through here. I put a journaling card in here and this is this can hold like a four by six or your three by fours down in through here. And then close that. It's a magnetic closure. Open up this side. Oops, get rid of this photo. And you have more photo opportunities here. This will hold a five by seven if you'd like. Or you can do your four by threes in through here or three by fours. So lots of photo opportunities in through this page also. Then we come to page six. So here we have another journaling card featured with a ribbon pull tab. This is going to open up, held by a magnetic closure again. It opens up. Here's the back side of the journaling card and a place for a four by six photo here. And then we have these, I call them button string closures. I'm not sure what you call them, but I love these because they don't depend on magnets and you can put a lot of stuff behind them and hold them down with these closures. And I just put a, one of the, the charms that you get if you got the bundle from us, Julie usually gives or she always does. She gives these charms in the bundle. So you open this up. So this side is going to open up. And you have this large area here for, for your photos. And I love the sunshine and happiness saying. So I put it down in through here. Sunshine and happiness. And here's another little ribbon so it tells us there's more. So you open up and now you have this big space back here. This will hold easily a five by seven and some more photo space over here. So on this side, you can put a lot of photos and then they can all be held down snugly with this button um, string closure. We just get to wrap that around like that and we get to this page some more pockets and we have these little tag inserts the, this is the journaling card here's the back of the journaling card and these inserts on both sides are holding down these little flaps here so these flaps are more places for some photos and another photo opportunity back here too, if you want. And this will close and they're just held down by these little tags. But that's not all. You open this up, you're going to come to this spread. So you have this place on each side of the centerpiece. You have this large belly band and inside the belly band we made this little booklet. More places for some photos. And this booklet will just fit right back under here, under this belly band. This closes up, magnetic closures on both sides. And there's another pocket page insert, another little booklet, matted on both sides. And lots of real estate for some more photos. And I don't know if you can see up here, but there's this is wax. I have not rubbed this in yet. And what I do, if you have problems with your photo um, mat, well, these photo inserts, 
in these pocket pages. If you have problems with them sliding in and out and they get stuck or they're not sliding real well, what you can do is just get a candle, rub it down the sides, especially on these corners down here. Rub it all down here. And then you just rub it with your fingers. Just the friction and heat of your fingers will rub, get that wax going in there. And I just have not rubbed that real well up here, but that will rub in there. And that just helps these photo mats, these um, pocket page inserts just to go down there. And they slide in real easy once you do that. So then our last page, also held down by this button tie closure. And of course, another charm that Julie will be sending you if you get the bundle from us. And this opens up, oops, this opens up another, here's another journaling card. We want our journaling cards, Graphic 45. So another journaling card. This opens up, oh, we get these out. This opens up, you have a large space for a photo up in here, and then you have this large pocket. This is an accordion pocket. So you can put a lot of stuff in this accordion pocket. And then what, whatever you stuff in there, you can hold it down tightly because you have a button tie closure. I made this a little too long, but it's fine. And you can just tighten it up and it'll hold everything in there snugly. And now the this is the back, the back inside cover. I just made a peekaboo card. So um, I just think peekaboo peek cards are so cute. I put a little chipboard element saying, you are my sunshine. And I put a photo back in here and then use some of these sentiments from the ephemera collection up in here to, to decorate it. So these peekaboo cards are just using a, a circle die cut. And I think they add a, another whimsical element to this, this album. So that's it. There is a lot of space in here. We have um, 5 8 inch gussets, not your typical half inch, just to accommodate all these pages and they can hold lots of photos. So let me know what you think of this collection. It's, it's, the paper is so vibrant and just makes you happy looking at it. And um, it's one of the last Graphic 45 series that's going to be coming with chipboard elements and these journaling cards that we all have grown to love. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.